I did not study. Bestie, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiara. I make videos documenting my journey as a surgical technology student, wife, and mom. I also make study and productivity vlogs, and today is going to be my first ever study vlog. It is 7:30 a.m. We've been following me for the last two months. Then you know that Wednesdays and Thursdays are like my really big, like long study days. That's when I'm the most productive on those days. I'm going to be taking you along with me today as I study, as well as probably tomorrow. It's going to be a couple days long, this video. If you need to study and you need to be productive, just continue watching this video and hopefully it makes you want to study. I don't know. Does anything really make you want to study? I always read my Bible before I actually sit down and like study. So I'm about to do a 30 minute Bible study. And then after that, we will be starting our first study session for this video. As you saw, I imported the PowerPoint into GoodNotes. At the beginning of each module, there's always a pretest just to test your knowledge on what you know already. And then after the pretest, there's always a case study that we revisit throughout the module. This week, we're working on the endocrine system. So this is just an example of the first page. There's reading passages as well as videos and interactive activities. And then on the left here are just the topics that we'll be doing for this module. So I do jot down notes on the PowerPoint that I imported into GoodNotes. The PowerPoints do have a little bit of information already, but as I go through my reading, I do add additional notes that I may find useful in the future or things that I have trouble remembering. To be 100% transparent with y'all, I do read the, the modules out loud because I feel like I'm able to grasp the information better. Text and the sex glands fall into this category. Steroids. These hormones are derived from... Depending on the topic, it can take me anywhere between one to three hours to complete the module just because I take such detailed notes. Once the module is completed, I do take a quiz and I did get a hundred. So here I am just creating my Quizlet for my med term words. We have 10 each week. After I create the Quizlets, I always do the learn activity that Quizlet has. Okay, so we've been studying for three hours now. It is now 11. I'm eating a little snack. I just have like a little bowl of sliced pears. I am making some coffee. I'm actually completely done with everything that I put on my to-do list for today. I am still going to use the rest of today and be super productive and take advantage of my time. I do need to like kind of tidy up around the house as well as um, make dinner so i'm going to be doing that as well but i don't believe i'm going to film that in this vlog since this is a study vlog i am going to pick up studying again or just getting some work done i'm going to begin preparing my study materials which i'll go further into detail later on in this video but one of the things that i do is i make what i call a practice test so I may go ahead and get a jump start on that because I wouldn't typically start that until Thursday or Friday. But since I'm already done with my work for today, I'm going to go ahead and get a head start on that. Okay, 
so each week I do practice my skills. My skill check off that I have for the upcoming week is unassisted gowning and gloving and then gowning and gloving with surgeons. So here you just see me practicing that. Um, this gown and gloves I have reused so many times, so it's not going to be like 100% folded or neat. So I apologize for that. The final thing that we're doing on this day is what I call my practice test or is more so I guess like a study guide. I go through my reading and my search tech book as well as the notes that I did on a and on the PowerPoint and I basically write out questions to myself as if I was testing myself. After typing out the questions, I then go back and I answer them without trying to look back at my notes. So as you see here, anything that's in green are things that I remembered without having to look back at. And anything that I type in red means that I either had trouble remembering it or I just completely did not remember it at all. Like I said, I do this both for surgical tech as well as anatomy physiology. On this day, I only had time to do it for surge tech, but once I do both, I do print this out and I use it as a study material for my test. Good morning. It is Friday now. I did not end up studying at all yesterday because mom life um, my son ended up having a reaction to a food allergy that he has, so I ended up having to take him to the doctor and then he just stayed home with me all day yesterday, so I did not study. But like I said, it is Friday. It's 9.36 and we're about to go to the library. So I just want to show you guys really quickly what I pack in my bag when I go to the library. Okay, so this is the bag that I'm taking. It is literally so cute. Um, I got it from Shein, so for all of my um baggies on the budget this is from Shein. it's not like super big but it's actually the perfect size for my ipad all i have in here is my ipad today we're bringing my beats because um my husband <laughs> took my airpods and i haven't i have a new pair of airpods but i haven't opened them yet and i'm too lazy to open them and then i think too like when you open new airpods don't you have to charge them I don't really know and I don't feel like, like having to charge them. So we're just going to take my beats. I have a couple of masks in here. We have my little snack for the library, which are these peanut butter cookies. They are so good. And then I just have my um, blue light glasses, but I'm actually about to go to Starbucks and then we're going to head over to the library. On this day, I finished my practice test for surgical tech as well as anatomy and physiology. I also did my teacher's focus notes. Her focus notes are basically like a study guide and it's 100% optional. You do not have to turn it in, but I find it so helpful for the upcoming exams because it's worded the exact way that she asked the questions on the exams. 